My name is Peter Pau and I lead the development of the NDC Explorer here at the German Development Institute. At the UN climate negotiation in 2013, countries decided that each and every country would submit an INDC or Intended Nationally Determined Contribution, climate action plans if we speak. And uh, in, these, in these INDCs, countries would write about mitigation, but perhaps also about their, their, their ambitions and priorities in terms of adaptation, finance and other issues. Um, however, the, 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 the guidance on these INDCs and how to formulate them were very limited. So the INDCs, because almost every country submitted one, became a cornerstone of the Paris Agreement that was concluded in 2015 in Paris, but at the same time they are very hard to compare because of their different contents and scopes. Um, therefore, it's extremely important to, to have a tool like the NDC Explorer that allows you to analyze NDCs and INDCs uh, and compare them to what other countries write uh, to give you an overview of what the priorities and ambitions of countries truly are. Um, if we go to the NDC Explorer now, it starts with a world map. A short tutorial gives you an overview of where to find the functionalities of the NDC Explorer. In the upper right corner, you can change between two views. You can either look at the world uh, in, in regions or divide them in, in income levels. In the upper right corner, you also find the buttons to export and share what you find interesting. Note that if you zoom in on a map and you push the export button, then that's the view that you are exporting. If you want to export maps or bar graphs in an even higher quality, please contact us. On the left side, you can open the main navigation. You can choose categories and subcategories. The tool has five main categories, climate change mitigation, climate change adaptation, finance and support, planning and process, and broader picture. The latter in refers to many of the other international, internationally important debates, such as disaster risk reduction, SDGs, or sustainable development goals, as well as fossil fuel subsidy reform. If you click on a subcategory, the map and, the, and its legend will automatically change. Note that if you, if you hoover over the legend, uh, those countries that fit under a certain legend item will automatically light up. You can also search for countries. So if you type the name of a country, the tool will automatically bring you to that country. If you want to have a closer look to a country or compare countries, you can click on it. Here you find all different subcategories a country has referred to and you can compare up to three countries. This button in the upper right corner brings you to the bar charts or back to the map. If you change from the map to the bar graph view, you enter the bar section exactly with the same subcategory that we're actually looking at at the map before. Sharing and downloading is also possible for bar charts. If you want to know more about the Explorer or go back to the tutorial, you can find them on the le left side of the menu. The About page explains you more about the methods we used and the people that were involved in this project. I hope this short introduction into the NDC Explorer was useful. I also hope that the tool as such is useful for your work. Um, in case you have any questions, suggestions or comments, uh, me and my team are always happy to help.